y'all welcome to blocktober day 17 i know it's 9 17 at night y'all so originally this is supposed to be a tutorial don't talk about my hair because i really don't know i think i'm doing like another it's supposed to be butterfly locks but we don't really know what it's gonna turn out to be it's gonna be something it's gonna be done so um i had some leftover hair from the last time i went to the beauty supply so i was like you know what do a style originally this was supposed to be a tutorial for some knotless braids for some knotless braids using the rubber band method but i parted out all of my hair using the rubber band method and then when he got time for me to do the knotless part i completely just had like two left hands i even watched the tutorial and i still couldn't grasp it so i was like you know what no we finna do some uh butterfly locks i don't know what the hell going on with this now so i'm using two different kinds of hair oh my foot my bad child i'm all over the place What's this? This the uh, bags of hair. I'm using two two kinds of hair, y'all. This this like some damn Marley hair, and then this some um, Jamaica twist hair. It's gonna be done. So, um, as y'all can see, I got this going on. I'm gonna clean it up and stuff in the end. But for right now, I'm just trying to get the hair in. So, real quick, y'all. Let me tell y'all something that y'all don't do. Um, and I do this every time because from time to time I like to be a dumbass. So y'all, um, a couple nights ago, I got drunk. Like drunk. I, you know what? And, and I feel like it be a lot of people sometimes. And don't talk about what I'm doing in my hair. They like, don't do it with a, with a, uh, I'm doing it with a comb because I'm over it at this point. So, um, people be like, don't get drunk and try to like contact nobody just don't do that it's not smart it's just not smart so um i got drunk y'all and i got my feelings and i got to contacting people that i know i really don't want to talk to um, more or less like don't need to talk to and honey it opened up a whole can of worms and now that I'm not drunk no more, I completely regret it. You know, sometimes you do stuff and it's like, it was better left. The, I'm doing black. It's like, it was better left the way that it was. You know, because it was if it was supposed to be something different, then it would, it would be something different. But it's not something different because it ain't supposed to be something different. But now I'm, put, now I'm left in a position where it's just like, every time I get drunk, I do stupid shit and i wasn't even like a little bit drunk i was just tipsy i don't ever get drunk i can't remember the last time i was drunk it, it was at least a year ago so um it, it puts you in a position where it's just like bitch why would you do that why would you do that why would you why would you contact him why would you do anything that would put you back in a space where you really you really don't care to be and if your ass wasn't drunk or tipsy you wouldn't have did shit so you know let me be a cautionary tale don't don't do that shit y'all it's weird and you're gonna regret it because you stop talking to them for a reason and now you got to go through the whole like listen i was drunk really want trying to talk to you like that i'm, I'm pretty okay uh, with us going back to you know the silence of how things was and stuff like that and it's like it took so long for you to get to this place where everybody was in agreement that shit was dead and now because you got tipsy and you want to contact people you got to start back over at square one it's a very disappointing place to be for me it's a very disappointing place for me to be because I pride myself on when I'm gone, I'm gone. You know, you, you, now, people, when I'm gone, I'm gone. I can't even come and, and, and try to sugarcoat it. So I said, you know what, well, let me occupy myself today. Let me do something to my hair. So earlier today, I put my hair out and all of that stuff. And so I'm like, okay, cool. We're going to do this. And the time has completely escaped me. I want it to be done. 
But am I done? No, not only am I not done, I'm getting super confused because I'm trying to look in the camera and do my hair and I don't need to be looking in the camera to do my hair. I need to be looking in the mirror so that I know what damn pieces of hair I'm grabbing. I can't even do a tutorial on this because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. That's how delusional I am right now. This is by far the best parting that I have done. I used that same tutorial from that girl, Adasha, I believe that's her name, that I did last time for my, um when I transferred for my knotless braids. It's a butterfly locks. I'm a, uh, I'm gonna link her video again because she's helpful, very helpful. But this is not, this ain't even a damn tutorial. This is, I don't know what the hell this is. It's, it's Vlogmas, Vlogmas. It's Vlogtober day 17 and it's 9.23 and I am regretful, regretful. You know what? It's not so much I'm regretful. I'm disappointed in myself because every time, every time I get tipsy, I do the stupid shit. Every time I get tipsy, I end up contacting somebody that I don't talk to no more. And it's like, bitch, you're the reason why y'all don't talk no more. So why would you then connect back with them and you know... You really don't want to talk to me. You know, sometimes, all the times, I get tipsy. And I ain't going to lie, y'all. I miss the day. I, I miss the day. It's hard to find somebody who you are sexually compatible with. So when you find somebody that you are sexually compatible with, and then you realize that all y'all are is sexually compatible, that shit hurt. It hurt your feelings. It hurt your soul to be like, yeah, damn, I can't even talk to you because this, this, we only work on a physical it's nothing else that works with us so it's a little disheartening when you know you gotta let your love your love your dig go because all y'all are is all y'all got is physical so it be that so when i get yeah when i get when i get tipsy Baby Miss Kitty get Miss Kitty gets acting up and she be like, just just see what they own. And then it don't help none that I know anybody who I stop talking to, and this is not being braggadocious, this is just a fact. Anybody that I stop talking to, I know I can always hit them back up and I can get right back where I fit in. You know, part of it is it part of it because these dudes is for is for everybody, possibly. Possibly, but maybe not. I don't know. And I don't, and I don't claim to know. I just look at this. I don't know what the hell this is. I'm going to fix it in the end. When I tell y'all I'm just doing something at this point because I, I'm over it. Part of me want to take this shit down. And then part of me is just like, just keep going and trust the process. It's, you're going to make it into something because I always do. But yeah, so, so that's, that's where I'm at. She got to talking to me and she was like, girl, call him up, you know, hit him up. What could, what could be the worst thing that could happen? The worst thing that could happen is nothing, but that's what I would prefer to happen. But I don't know. Sometimes I feel like, so like I had this one situation where um, I stopped talking to them because they said something really crazy to me, like very crazy to me. And... Sometimes when people say something like too damn crazy to me, I just be like, I can't, I can't even give you closure that I know that you would want and, and, and feel like you deserve because you, you do deserve it. But the shit that you said to me was so weird and so fucked up that I just got to go. And my motherfucker told me, um, my motherfucker said, he said, let's be real. I'm either going to die from AIDS or coronavirus. Who says that? Who says that? So I was just like, you know what? I can't. I can't even. I can't even 
have a, another conversation with you because the shit was so fucking outlandish. It was just like, is this what you really believe or are you really just saying shit to say shit? And either way, that shit is weird. So I literally just cut off communication. It's been years, y'all. Years. And then, uh, my dumb ass got tipsy and did some dumb shit. So now I'm just like, first of all, I feel like if, if a motherfucker wants to talk to you, they, they'll hit you up. But it didn't happen. So I feel like it was a mutual understanding that like, it did, this shit is dead. It happens. It definitely happens. But I just feel like when that statement was made, sometimes I feel like motherfuckers say shit. Look at this shit, y'all. What is this? I'm going to fix it. Sometimes motherfuckers say shit. And I feel like some people do say stuff just being in their feelings. But I feel like some some shit you, you just can't say. And to me, don't, don't talk to me about no shit like that. Don't ever say no shit like that to me and think tomorrow when I hang up on your ass tomorrow I'm gonna be, be available to you cause I'm not. So that shit really rubbed me the wrong way and I have not reached out to this person. This person has not reached out to me. It's been years y'all. Years. And then my dumb ass got tipsy. It's like bitch why would you do that? Why would you do that? Why would you, why would you say anything to them after the way things ended? Like, why would you say anything? That's a bitch. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It was my dumb ass alter ego when I get tipsy. I get tipsy and shit go a little south. And I do shit that I wake up the next day and be like, bitch, why, bitch, why would you do that? Why would you do that? So that's that's the position that I'm in now. It's giving very much so. Like it's like, why would you do that? So I feel dumb about it. I don't want folks like, bitch, what are you talking about? I feel dumb about it, but it happened. Um, I feel like a lot of times when you stop talking to somebody who it's like you really didn't want to stop talking to them, but it just it just ended up working out that way. You tend to focus on like the good parts about it when you really should be focusing on the ending. You really should be focusing on what caused you to walk away. What caused things to end. And all this time, I ain't really been tripping on it. Now I ain't gonna lie, when I ovulate, ooh. Cause they brought them when I tell you sexual compatibility is a is a is a it's a thing and it's a rarity. I got all kind of shit on my shirt from food I ate earlier. It's a damn rarity. So when I be ovulating, oh, I miss it. Oh, I do. I can't even lie. But I focus on the other parts. See, when I ain't tipsy, I be smart with it. But when I'm tipsy, I don't be smart with it, y'all. I don't be smart with it, y'all. So it was a little minor indiscretion that i had that do do i regret it no because nothing came of it and that um that's a good thing you know nothing came of it but it's just the fact that i did it that's bothering me it's like why would you reach out First of all, why would you reach out to somebody who said who the last conversation y'all had, that's what the fuck they said to you. And then they never came back to correct it or to try to fix the last statement. It is something they didn't care. They they said what they said because that's what they meant. And I just kind of felt like that was some very off-putting shit to say. So it's like, bitch, why would you then turn around and get tipsy and reach out to a motherfucker like that? Like, why would you do that? For nothing. It ain't even like I'm like, you know what's up? I'm trying to slide through. I want to see. It ain't even like that. It was nothing like that. That feeling wasn't even in me. I don't even know why I did it. That's the craziest part about it. Sitting there, just fucking bored and, and bored in the house and I was in the house bored like a fucking dummy. And I did that shit. So 
the moral of the story is don't contact nobody when you uh been tipsy don't don't try to reach out to nobody at all wait until you don't feel those fake ass feelings no more because that's what the fuck it is because if you don't feel that way when you are sober then you being drunk that shit is that shit is a a motherfucking you hallucinating baby and get the fuck up out of it so yeah y'all that that shit will um that shit rub me the wrong way that shit rub me the wrong way that i did that shit because i don't do shit like that i don't do shit and you know part of me feel like if that wasn't the last statement if that wasn't the last thing talked about then i probably wouldn't feel the way that i feel about even reaching out to that person but because that was the last thing like, why would you ever why would you ever that's it like bitch like why, why would you ever it be it be that drunk shit it be that drunk shit you get to reminiscing on past shit and it's like okay it be it be miss kitty it don't be me it don't be candace because candace candace got got better sense than that but but miss miss kitty miss thing she she ain't got no fucking sense she ain't got no fucking sense when she tipsy she ain't, sis ain't got no fucking sense and so this is a situation where sis ain't had no fucking sense i've done this shit so many times y'all so many times that's why i know exactly where all of this shit was coming from and what's so crazy is the last time that i did it to somebody else i was like when i wasn't when i wasn't motherfucking drunk no more i'm like listen i'm my bad i do not want to talk to you um i know what i said on the phone but I promise you, if you come over here, I'm not gonna come outside like I said I was. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna come outside because I really, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it, I was drunk. It was Miss Kitty, and Miss Kitty, she take over every time, every time. She's, she's a feisty one, I can tell you that. If I can't tell you nothing else, she's definitely a feisty one. Y'all, I feel like my hair, is going to turn out like what the fuck i really truly do i really do y'all but am i gonna keep going mm -hmm. yeah i am i'm gonna stop to edit this random ass vlog for vlogtober day 17 but don't be like tipsy candace do not hit nobody that you stop talking to do not hit them the fuck up that is weird and it is a waste of time and the effort that you have put forth not talking to somebody i do this shit when i tell you i will literally go down my old roster and just be like let me see what he's doing. Let me see. What he, the motherfuckers who I just don't talk to no more. Legit don't talk to no more. And then I do that stupid shit. And it's like, bitch, you... You knew that this one no shit that you should have been doing. And you did it anyway. You did it anyway. And it's so crazy because I remember feeling that reluctancy. Before I did it, it was almost like the sober me was peeking through like hold up bitch don't don't do that like bitch that's not that's that's not the thing to do don't don't do that and i'm like yeah i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it guys and then i was like i did it joe i did it and then i feel dumb i feel dumb when i when i got up the next day i was like bitch did you really and then i went back and I was like, oh, bitch, you really did. At first, I thought I was hallucinating it because that's what I wanted it to be. I wanted it to be like me hallucinating that I did that dumb shit. But it was like, nah, you, you did. You you really did it, bitch. You did it. And now you can't take it back because it's done. 
And so it is what it is. I don't hate the person, but it was just we don't talk. So it's like why are you getting up somebody you don't talk to? It was that part for me. Like, but you you don't talk to him. So why are you why would you hit up somebody that you don't talk to? That was my biggest thing. It, it was no type of animosity that I felt or anything like that. It was just like, but just been years. Why would you, why would you hit them up? Why would you, why are they in your energy so strong when you tipsy? Bitch, it's because, you know. And be her. I do stupid shit like that from time to time when I be tipsy. That's what it is. And what's so crazy is I didn't even realize I was tipsy until I was already tipsy, y'all. That's the fucked up part about it. That's the part that gets me. Is that I didn't even realize. I don't feel like these are right the same length. I'll fix it later. That's the part that gets me, y'all. Is that I didn't even realize. I didn't even feel like I was that tipsy. I didn't realize I was tipsy till I was already tipsy till I had already did it. I'm just like, bitch. After all this time, your dumbass. You got to be the dumbest. So yeah, don't don't hit nobody up. Luckily, nothing came of it. I mean, even if it would have, it ain't like it would have been nothing. But it's just like to even put yourself in that position to allow somebody back into the, your energy that you don't already moved out your energy it's not like that no other time than your ass get tipsy i'm so fucking prosecco prosecco is different it's sparkling wine baby and it's different i don't even get like that with my sweet red i don't even get like that with sweet red y'all not even with sweet red y'all i don't get like that but prosecco baby prosecco be having me on some other shit on some other other shit clearly y'all clearly so that's that. I'm finna. Uh, Yo, I, I lost weight, y'all. I went in. I ain't even trying. <laughs> I ain't even trying. So yeah, um, let me let me edit this video and I'm see y'all tomorrow. My hair be finished tomorrow, and then I could feel better about myself. Cause right now, y'all, I'm feeling real. I'm feeling real ifish about this hairstyle. I don't know what the hell is happening. I don't know what I'm doing, y'all. So, I'll hit y'all back. I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Have a great day. Don't be like Candace. If you tipsy, just go to sleep. Just go to sleep. Because if the motherfucker hits you back that you really ain't been trying to talk to, then what you gonna do? Be like me. Keep them on block.